Good day, gentlemen. Hi, Bob. Say hello to Vint Cerf, founder of the internet. Hello. Hello. Vint, my friends here, Marie and Argo, would like to know how the internet works. Well, it all started a long time ago. No, not that far back. Keep going. Almost. There. <laughs> In the 1960s, there were computers just like there are today. Except computers didn't know how to share data with other computers. So J.C.R. Licklider and Robert Taylor connected them. Paul Barron said, let's make packets for the data to travel in. Now, if I may, Vince, a packet contains a header and the data. The data is the information that's being transmitted. The header contains information about where the packet needs to go, how long it should take before it gets there, and what type of data is being delivered. That sounds just like my LAN. I invented the World Wide Web. As you may know, then, you can connect different devices to a LAN. For example, a file server. The other computers can access the files stored on the file server. There's also something called a web server that stores web pages, as in World Wide Web. If you connect a printer to the LAN, every computer can print to it. That's what I'm trying to do. World Wide Web, now. If you take this LAN and connect it to another LAN and another and another and then connect this group of LANs to other groups of LANs, you have a wide area network or WAN. And when you connect WANs to other WANs to other WANs, you get the internet, which is useless without the World Wide Web. Mr. Sir, sir, you are highly intelligent. Oh, thank you. Mr. Surf, what kind of data is inside these packets? Pictures, videos, music, text messages, web pages, anything you send or receive. How do they know where to go? They use addresses. Like a house address? Yes. Except on the internet, it's called an internet or IP address. When your computer sends a packet, it puts the IP address of the destination into the packet header so that the packet knows where to deliver the data. World Wide Web. And once the packet leaves the computer, routers help it arrive safely at its destination. The end. Tim. Did you want to uh, cover the World Wide Web? <laughs> well, Wide Web. maybe next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Surf. To watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.